Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I've got 28 Bolos coming your way. These are Poshmark Bolo items, items that I sold faster on Poshmark. I also had these items listed on eBay and Mercari. So 28 Bolo items that sold faster on Poshmark. You guys, don't turn it off. There are no clothing items in this video. I know that most of you are not big clothing resellers, so on my channel. But we're gonna get started. And I do have some videos where I focus on clothing, so you can check out my other videos for that. But this one is not gonna have clothing. All right, let me get my screen share up and we're gonna get started. So let's start with the first item. The first item is this Bart Simpson. Well, it's from the show Bart Simpson, but this is Marge and Lisa. And I picked these up at a thrift store and a bulk buy um, Bart Simpson lot, which has been amazing. If you guys watch my channel and watch my what sold, you guys know that I have sold tons of this stuff and I got it for probably, I probably got 25 cents in this and I sold it for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 344 pounds of jewelry. If you want to check out those videos, I've got lots of videos on um, that score for sure. Um, I've got where I weigh it, where I pick it up and then unboxing. So check that out. This is a vintage snake cuff bracelet. I sold this for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this leapfrog tag book lot. It's got the pin, the pin works. And I sold this for $20. So I picked these up at garage sales, thrift stores. Um, yeah, garage sales and thrift stores. And then I lot them up and I sell them. They sell very well. I, I definitely would bolo for these if I were you guys. I sold this for $20, $20 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, these sell well on Mercari and eBay also. The next item I sold is this 2005 Mr. Christmas Holiday Ballroom. Um, it plays 50 songs. It kind of rotates. Uh, Mr. Christmas can be a bolo often. Uh, let me show you the box. It came in Holiday Ballroom. If you see Mr. Christmas, definitely um, look it up. So I feel like I could have held out for more for this item, but you know, it's the Christmas season right now. So I'm like $50, let's move it. And I believe that came in a mystery box. The next item I sold are these Barbies, a lot of four Barbie dolls. Uh, these, again, I pick them up at garage sales and um, mostly garage sales, sometimes thrift stores. I sold these ladies for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. And I always just put, they have been played with. I try to take pictures where it shows their hair because a lot of times these dolls that have been played with, they have messy hair. The next item I sold is this Simpsons, Bart Simpson interactive talking figure. This came from a thrift store. I can't remember if he was five or 10 bucks, but um, he was definitely a good find. I sold him for $50 and the buyer paid shipping. I believe he's vintage. Um, I can't remember. I don't see where I put a date on it, but definitely anything that talks or that is interactive that is for children, definitely, definitely, definitely um, look it up. So the item is still attached to the packaging as seen in photos. I in undid the twisty ties only. Let me see what I wrote here and reattached the item works. So if I get an interactive toy and it's new in the box, but the batteries are dead, I want to make sure that there's no corrosion and that the item is going to function properly so that I can get top dollar out of it. So if I can kind of get inside the box and check the batteries and, you know, I, I have done that several times and then I just disclose it. So I think somebody buying an, a vintage item like this would rather know that it works than to have it show up and not work or be corroded. I am, you know, so that's just my thought on that. All right, the next item is this Heartstone Pottery Coffee Mug. mug. I sold this for $17, the buyer paid shipping. Uh, let me show you the bottom. There are some variations on what the bottom looks like, but, well, geez, I don't even see it on this one. It's so hard to see. Let me see if I can zoom. You can barely see it. Most of them, some of them are stamped. Some of them are kind of engraved in the bottom, but Heartstone is very, very um, 
once you see it, you kind of know what it looks like. I've sold it a lot. I always pick it up at garage sales and thrift stores. Halloween, if you can find Halloween Hearthstone, those are definitely a bolo. Christmas do pretty well. The next item I sold are these Little Critters books. There's a lot of eight. Um, anytime I can get books that are in like little series, um, I definitely like to pick those up. They seem to do pretty well. Um, I'm kind of playing around with them on uh, Poshmark. I do well with books on Mercari and eBay. So I sold these for $15 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Vintage Space Jam action figure lot. These are from the Warner Brothers Toon Squad. I've got the Coyote, um, Sylvester the Cat, and Michael Jordan. And these are just little toy figures. And I got these at a garage sale. They were in a huge tote of stuff from a garage sale that I've had forever. And I pulled them out and I decided to list them. And they sold really fast. I sold them for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I believe these came out of a mystery box. Uh, look out for motorcycles. They're magnets. There's seven of them. I sold these for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. And this one I only put on Poshmark for some reason. The next item I sold is this Disney Frozen Ladies Teen Watch. It's brand new. I got it at a thrift store. It looked like somebody maybe donated some stuff um, that they had retail arbitraged or I don't know, but I bought a bunch of these. Um, I shouldn't say a bunch, like three of these frozen watches and they've all sold. So I think I paid, I think they were on sale or I had like a coupon or maybe it was a sale day. I can't remember. But uh, I want to say I had 2 to $3 in this, and it sold for $22 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these Unis Mega Starter Pack. They're like little inflatable things that blow up, and you can make animals and stuff. These came from the Toys R Us going out of business sale. I kind of hung on to them until everybody else sold theirs, and I sold this for $38 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these Vintage Brass Reindeer um, Christmas Stockings. This person bought two, $90 each is what I had them um, listed at, and they bundled at $160, so they got them for $80 each. My Poshmark fee on this was $32, so my earnings was $128, which is fantastic, and they were a great, great find. I found six of them, and they I've sold all six. They were a major bolo, so if you see brass reindeer stockings like this, Definitely pick them up. This retired Boyd's Bear Christmas Santa. I know everybody says no way on the Boyd's Bear plush, but you know what, you guys? I do pretty good on Boyd's Bear. Um, the plush. I pick them up if they're a dollar or less. Like this one, I think I paid a dollar for it, but I probably would have paid two or three dollars for him just because he's Christmas themed. And I picked him up at a garage sale and I sold him for $50 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these, um, I don't know how to say it, Ku Koi nut necklaces. <laughs> um, they're Hawaiian vintage necklaces. I believe they're hand painted. One of these came um, out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay and the other came from a garage sale. And I sold the set for $25 and the buyer paid the shipping on this. So. I had them listed at 18 and 19 each, but I took an offer for 25. And I do that a lot when people bundle, I'll go down on my prices. The next item I picked up at a garage sale, this is a Kelly toy Popeye the plush, uh, Popeye the Sailor Man plush toy. And he's, I think he's like bendable, poseable, that's the word. And I sold him for $15, the buyer paid shipping. I thought he was gonna comp out a little higher. I think I paid $2 or $1.50 for him, so. Um, not too bad. Made a little profit. Not huge. Definitely bread and butter. The next item I sold are these 10 Play School Heroes Transformer Rescue Bots. I picked these up on a Facebook Marketplace pickup. I was so proud of myself um, trying to branch out and do some Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it just takes so long to scroll. I mean, I just so much time. But it did pay off. And I sold these for $100 in the buyer paid shipping. And they're like little transformer guys. I had no idea. I just bought all the toys they had. Um, yeah, the, actually it was a um, Calico Critters is what I saw. And I messaged them and I said, what else do you have? And I said, what do you want for all of it? Do you have anything else? And I ended up going back for more. So 
definitely ended up being a good find. And when I bought the stuff, the only thing I knew was a bolo was the calico critters and it's, I haven't sold it yet. So the other things were just a nice surprise. This one is a cat's meow lot of eight collectors club. Um, they're like the house figures, uh, village figures. And I sold these for $50 and the buyer paid shipping. And you guys have heard me talk about the cat's meow. I got a great deal at a garage sale. I think I got three boxes. It might've been four just stuffed full. And I want to say I paid $30 for all of them. So definitely a score. Usually on their own, they're bread and butter, but I did sell one, I think for $28. So the next item I sold are these Betty Boop stud earrings. They were so long tail, but um, I sold them for $12. The buyer paid shipping and I picked them up in a bulk lot of jewelry that I got at a garage sale. So probably 10 cents in them. The next item, um, the paper studio, this is a scrapbook. And I will say a lot of times I will just put these scrapbooks on Poshmark. And the reason is I like to do free shipping on Mercari. And by the time I put the weight and the dimensions in, like it, it's just too much, you know, for me to cover, to make any money. So Poshmark, the buyer pays the shipping, they can bundle with something else, or um, I have a little more wiggle room. Sometimes I put them on eBay, but for some reason, these scrapbook albums, I like to put on Poshmark. The next item I sold is a stainless steel nail bangle bracelet. Sold it for $15. This came from my bulk buy jewelry buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. This is a little alphabet letter cards. They're new. They're still sealed. They're from 2005. Super cute. Um, I got this at a garage sale. I want to say it was a dollar, but I've had it for a while on eBay. It was listed for a very long time on eBay, but I cross posted it to Poshmark and it sold very fast. So it's just, I don't know if it was one of those lucky things because Christmas is going to be here soon or um, I don't know, but it sold faster on Poshmark for sure. The next item I sold is this vintage Funny Bones card game. I believe this came out of a mystery box. I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these plastic building blocks. Again, great items to just grab at garage sales. I didn't have like a container or anything. I just laid them out and, you know, they sold for $15. Again, I think this item, I want to say maybe I only put this on Poshmark because of the weight and measurements. I might have put it on Mercari. I can't remember, but it sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. So just a bread and butter item. The next item is this spectacular Spider-Man animated series figure. Picked it up at a garage sale with a bunch of toys. I sold this guy for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item sold super fast. This came from a thrift store. I believe it was 50 cents and I think I got it on sale. Maybe it was 75 cents. I can't remember, but anyway, cheap, less than a dollar. And I sold him for $10. He sold super fast. So anytime you can find these like little characters that kids like to watch on TV, especially Bob the Builder, he's kind of a harder to find uh, character. I've sold um, toys in the past that I've picked up at garage sales that have done really well for Bob the Builder. So definitely be on the lookout for him. 10 bucks, buyer paid shipping. The next item was super duper long tail. <laughs> I mean, I can't even tell you how long I've had these. I got these at a garage sale in a bulk lot and I probably have hardly anything in them, but it just took the right buyer and I sold them for $8. And this came, I think this was in a mystery box, but it was brand new, super nice. Got the nice little snowflakes. It's a set of two kitchen towels, sold them for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. And I think I only listed that on Poshmark also. All right, guys, what do you think? Are you selling on Poshmark? What do you like about Poshmark? What do you not like about Poshmark? Are you selling on Mercari? Do you set, like to sell certain items on one platform over another? Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, again, I don't think I mentioned this. I use List Perfectly. It's a uh, cross-posting extension. It helps you get your items from one platform to another. They have a catalog also. I'm not currently using the catalog. I do have videos that show you how I do it. I list everything to eBay first because that is like my money maker. My main source of income is eBay. For those of you selling on Poshmark and Mercari and you're not selling on eBay, I highly recommend that you look into eBay. I mean, just 
the difference in the amount of things that I sell on eBay compared to Poshmark and Mercari is just, I mean, it's a huge difference. It's not a little bit, it's a huge difference. I sell way, way more on eBay. Now Poshmark and Mercari are definitely awesome bonuses, but I could not make a full-time living on Poshmark and Mercari based on my sales. So if you're just on Poshmark, and this is a Poshmark video, so that might be you, definitely check out um, List Perfectly, or you can man manually cross post, but it's gonna take you a lot longer. So what I was saying is I start on eBay and I cross post my items to um, Poshmark and Mercari, and it's an extension. It, just saves you so much time. There should be a video popping up. There's, if you don't see the video down in the description, I have a video that shows you how to do it. And you can get 30% off your first month with referral coupon code Bolo Buddies. Um, try it, try it for a month. If you hate it, quit. Um, but I mean, I love it. <laughs> it is, I've been using it for over a year and I can only honestly say it's one of the best things that I've ever done for my business. So definitely check it out. And thanks for being here. Check out some of my other Bolo videos. Um, if you're not selling on eBay, check out some of my what sold videos um, for eBay. If you're not selling on Mercari, I've got what sold videos for that. I do break them down into eBay, what sold Mercari, what sold Poshmark. And then I have category Bolo videos where if you just wanna learn about Christmas items that are big money or um, Halloween, I've got, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. I'm drawing a blank, you guys, me. Yeah, board games, um, <laughs> items that are in the kitchen, weird items that sell for big money. I have my bread and butter bolo series, which are items that you can pick up cheap at garage sales that typically flip pretty quick for decent money, not high margins, but good money. I have my big money bolo videos. So if you guys wanna see what I have learned from doing this channel, definitely check that out. And for those of you that are new, I'm kind of rambling right now, but I started this channel to learn because I was a full-time clothing reseller up until about two years ago, from 2005 up until about two years ago. Um, about the time I started the channel, I started really researching and I'm like, you know what? I want to get good at this. So I'm going to start a YouTube channel and I'm going to learn and teach. And a lot of my earlier videos are category videos because that's what I was trying to do. I have um, a series called um, 50 Unbelievable Bolos or something like that, but it's a whole series. And in each video, there are 50 Bolo items to be on the lookout for. So a great teaching tool to throw it on when you're listing, you know, or when you're sorting or whatever. So you can like see the items and just know what to look for. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Put any questions you might have down in the comments and I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.